There you have it guys, my very own Pangi Popo recipe. Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Um, so in this vlog, I'm going to be making a famous Samoan dish here in the Pacific called Bunny Popo. So Bunny Popo pretty much is coconut buns in Samoan. Um, so I've made this before, back well, years back, because I used to bake a lot back in um, Wellington, New Zealand. Um, but I've stopped since then, so hopefully I'll still have it in me to um, make this famous iconic dish. Hope you guys liked my Elini um, Fala Elini uh, vlog before. So I'm going to uh, make bangi popo. Um, it's uh, pretty simple ingredients, but it's the uh, method on how to make it that you gotta really be um, good at. Good at. Good at good at so um yeah hope you enjoy this vlog and a special um thanks to all those who have subscribed to my channel thanks for subscribing and hope you guys enjoy this vlog Okay, so these are all the ingredients that you need for bunny popo. One quarter cup of oil, two and a half cups of sugar, six to seven cups of sour racing flour, two cups of warm water, two cans of coconut cream, and four teaspoons of yeast. Also, you'll need two eggs as well, which I forgot to put here. Let's go! So firstly you need a clean surface because you'll be using that to do your dough. First up, you mix the yeast. So you do two packets of yeast in a bowl. Then you grab your warm water, pour your water into the bowl. This will open up the yeast. So then when you add the sugar, it will activate the yeast. So it will help your dough to rise. So it's important that you use warm water. So then it will activate the yeast and sugar together. Once you've done that, you put it to the side and leave it for 10 minutes to let it set. Next up, you grab the bowl. And now you're going to mix your dry ingredients with the eggs and oil. So you crack your eggs into the bowl. It's important that you do that first so you mix the wet ingredients and the oil and mix it together with a wooden spoon just like so and then you use your yeast and sugar mix and mix it together as well once you've done that you then add your dry ingredients which is the self raising flour I normally add most of that into the bowl first and then mix it with a wooden spoon and then the rest I will um, again use my hands to mold or knead the dough together like so. So once you've done that you just mix your head you just mix the dough with your hands, then you grab a small tray. And then you use the oil to coat the tray, then you grab your dough and then you um, sort of coat the mix with oil so that it doesn't stick. And then once you've preheated your oven, you turn it down to warm, keep warm and this will allow the dough mix to rise. Once you've done that, you let it sit there and then you mix your coconut cream together. So you will Pour the coconut cream into the bowl, then fill it up with water and pour the same amount as well and then you add your sugar. 
you add two cups of sugar to that and then you mix it together like so and then what you're going to use your clean surface to start laying out your dough for the buns so once you've seen that it's risen like that you then knead the dough out and then I normally cut it in half so then it's easier to roll out like so and then you use your rolling pin and you start rolling out the dough till it's flat so there are two old ways of doing it you can either coat the whole entire flat dough with the coconut cream with a brush and then roll it up like a roll and then you use your grab your tray and then you start cutting it sort of like sausage rolls and you just cut them into pieces lay them up like that so that's the first way of laying out a, a, um, your buns um, or you can roll it out again and then cut them into strips I prefer this way so then you can define your buns um, <laughs> define your buns um, yeah so you make the buns can be more formed easily um, if that makes sense so you'll see what I mean once you've coat them then you can see that the the center is like an actual swirly bun like that and I reckon it looks better like that so those are the two ways you can do your buns you can lay out your buns and then you just um, warm your oven up to 180 and then you put your buns in so I don't pour the coconut cream till later I let the buns cook first so I let the buns bake for about 10 to 20 minutes and once you see that they're starting to brown up you pour the coconut cream over it like so and then you keep on checking it and you keep coating it with the brush for five to ten minutes keep on checking to see how they're doing and over a course of half an hour once you've done that they should look like this Have it guys, my very own bungy popo recipe. Ready to eat. Be sure to have a handy bowl of the um, coconut cream on the side in case you want to add more. I preferably like to have heaps of coconut cream just to dip the buns in, but this is what it should look like in the end. I'm gonna have some right now. Enjoy! Sorry. <laughs> you guys are gonna try some now. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Yeah.